bizim için Kürdistan bütündür. Kürt halkı neredeyse şu anda Kürtlerin yürütmüş olduğu mücadele bir varlık savaşıdır yani. We're just arriving in Kirkuk. It's a city that technically belongs to the Iraqi central government, but the Kurds took it over as soon as ISIS pushed into the rest of northwestern Iraq. This is divided between Kurds and Arabs. The front line between ISIS and the Kurdish forces here. It's a very complicated and divided city. The PKK base was in a Kakai village outside Kirkuk belonging to a Kurdish religious minority who felt threatened by the Islamic State's advances. All the villages around here are Arab villages and to these guys, Arabs basically means ISIS. Uh, ISIS control those villages. No one wants to say it, but it is turning into an ethnic conflict here. Hello, thank you. Where are you from? From Turkey. What, what are you doing here in Iraq now? According to the US government, both the PKK and the Islamic State are terrorist groups. But the PKK's success in fighting the Islamic State is causing some American policymakers to call for the lifting of sanctions against them. We're spending some time with the PKK who are fighting ISIS here in Iraq. They've come here from Turkey. But the American government refuses to arm them because they consider them to be terrorists, because they're fighting Turkey. But part of our escort is an American-made Humvee with uh, the PKK logo scrawled on the back of it. <laughs> We're just arriving at the main PKK base outside Kirkuk, and just beyond that, only a few meters on the horizon, you can see ISIS flags and the ISIS checkpoint. We just arrived here. I'm going to meet Egid. He's the main PKK commander in this area. Hello, Sachava. Many people here in Iraq say that the, the guerrilla forces, the PKK, the YPG, are the most effective fighting force in Iraq against ISIS. Why do you think that is? I was a professional. I was a professional. This is a very mixed area of Iraq. Um, how is the relationship between your forces and the local Sunni Arabs and the local Turkmen? Agid took us to the front lines a few hundred meters away, where an uneasy truce is currently holding between the PKK and the Islamic State. We're heading to a front line position, uh, very, very close to ISIS positions with a PKK escort. This is the border with the Islamic State, essentially. And this side of the border is either Iraq or Kurdistan, depending on who you ask. And that will be a source of contention in the future. Umili di kia ove daish digri. Sunur eva 
ook zo bij raak in wonen. Alle mijn wachten want ik hier is de scherm in de oude wonen. Ik ga je bussen filen, is veel te dan en ook. Had nog scherm toen hij ook toch dan een beetje bewind hebben. Oh shit. Even de verste in jaren weer, hij gooit je oog blind bij. Singari wonen. اف براق آنجی جه براقی که لگو فی ملی فی ملی توش قانه ها بیش از یک جه او قرنسیون جد یه از دیگر سوی قاز دیگر جه ها عرض خورده حیات دشی جه اف گنده همون ها ایست دستی ونده او این دستی دایشی ده از سونی عرب ولش سونی نه هم هم سونی ده سونی نه او عرب نه سونی نه قرنسی ها کنی زور کیه ها نه کنی زور کنی کیه this is the border of the Islamic State, and this section of the border is being defended by Kurds from Turkey. Many of the ISIS fighters on that side of the river have come from all over the Arab world, from Europe maybe. This war is dragging in fighters from across the region, from outside, and it isn't going to finish anytime soon.